Yes, cool. yes cool. where are we? We are in Lübeck now. No, we are somewhere near Lübeck, visiting Salem Speed. The bell doesn't seem to be working. Let's see if Christian is there. Has he fallen asleep at work again? Let's just go in. Christian specializes in Lombrada scooters, and here he comes. We are currently on our way to Lübeck to see our next sexy Vespa workshop, the Reusenlager. But if you say sexy at the Baltic Sea, you also have to mention Christian Albrecht. Salem Speed is the name of Christian Albrecht's workshop, where he specializes in umbrellas but also works on other models. Right? Yes, that's right. What is your main business? My main business is mainly repairing damage or servicing our scooters. From a PK XL2 model to a Lambretta, everything is included. So. Um, und wenn die, die Zeit es erlaubt um, oder beziehungsweise über die Wintermonate geht es dann in die Richtung der And if time permits or over the winter months we move on to restoration or engine work. But my favorite thing to build is Lambrada models. Did you cover this quickly when you heard we were coming? I like that very much. This will be a super tune and has been completely painted. Just not glued enough. Will this also be a low line? No, the customer is taller than 1.5 meters and therefore does not get a low line. No, the customer himself used to have an original low line and it now rides around Hamburg. An original low line? Yes, an original. Can you tell us what a super tune is? Supertune was a retailer in England who had decided to produce a kind of racing Lambretta. He painted them in these two colors, or three colors, black or green, to be precise. And then completely sharp the head tube and leg shield. So there was this Supertune, which was already very nicely painted especially the side covers. And then there was the Supertune lowline. I don't think all Supertune models were also lowline. No, right. The head tube was shortened here. This made the handlebars lower and the lambretta flatter at the front. That looked really good. But if you're taller than 1.5 meters, you already get back pain after a distance of 10 kilometers. But it looks damn cool. Of course, the whole thing is again in Christian style where everything shines. He also works with gloves when assembling. There is no other way. The special features here are... The special parts used here are original parts. An original Smith speedometer will be installed here. The original Pathfinder headlights will also be installed. Something very special is this one. This will be a mechanical shaft for the speed pulse that was produced. This is flanged to the engine. Ah, oh, that's cool. I haven't seen that at all. This is a mechanical speedometer that is flanged to the engine. This is welded on here. And here underneath is the chain sprocket. And that is connected to this via... The front sprocket screw, which is cut into. This part is also flat, incised and is right on there. 
by which is turned by the front sprocket. The crankshaft is to be precise, is connected to the mechanical ref counter. The question is, why do you do this? You can add small sensors like this and then it will probably work more reliably. Why do they do it so complex? Quite simple. Because it's cool and because it's just a hobby. I always find something like that great. Now you have to show us the side panels. This is the typical super tuned design. I especially liked having that on the SX200 side. After all, it only works with SX. Well, this one anyway. Exactly. I think it's very cool. I've just always liked it. The black paint is rare. Mostly they are painted in green color. But in black color with the gold stripe and the piano liqueur? Extremely sexy. I even do that without gloves now. When did you start Salem Speed? Salem Speed was as a side job since 2012. Salem Speed has existed as a side business since 2012. I have been here in this room since 2016. This morning I thought about it. I am now in my 34th year of working with these two-stroke engines. Christian and I have already met twice. The first time actually in my old hometown. We already worked together back then. Christian just reminded me that he even learned how to screw for me. I won't say anything about that now. No, <laughs> just kidding. He reminded me that I was a terrible mechanic. Even then, he was always so shocked that he helped me build the engines. We then met again a few years later when I started working at SIP and we then got in touch professionally. He is a scooter retailer in Lübeck. Where are we exactly? No, we're in Schmillau, near Ratzburg. Anyway, this is also a scooter rider's stronghold, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I think there have been a lot of clubs, scooters and customizers in this area since the 80s. Is that right? Customizing in the gegend, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Here ein Ort weiter. Yes, that's right. One place over there is one of the biggest customizers in the north or even in the whole of Germany. Jens Kruse, for sure. You work with him too, don't you? Exactly. Jens is the main manufacturer of the Salem Speed special parts for Lambretta, because I can't produce that myself. By the way, they're also available at SIP Scooter Shop, if you want to buy them. Yes, of course. They are also currently being processed and will be available again soon. Available again soon? Yes, exactly. I could even give you a few items to take with you. But it must also be said that the northern German region, here above the Alp, also had the oldest and most established scooter clubs in the past. We've talked a lot about Lambretta. So, now we want to see some. As you can see, it's a Lambretta GPA. I'm not sure. Tell me. This is originally a really self-imported Indian Lambretta SIL. This is an Indian SIL? This is a SIL from India, which I also imported myself. When it was in the yard, we all laughed a lot and said to ourselves, what do we have to do to restore this Lambretta? Except for a few parts, all elements were then replaced. To explain. As already mentioned in our Lambretta 101 video, many parts were shipped to Spain at the time. These were produced until the 1980s, but the last scooters of the last series, the DLGP, were shipped to SIL in India. Do you want to show us another scooter? I've been working on these scooters for the last one and a half years, at the same time as the LIS. The client is crazy. He's into that not quite skeleton and not quite mod look. It's just a naked mod scooter. The skeleton style originates mainly from the Lambretta range. 
As we can see, the Lambretta has this tube frame. We've already explained this in the 101 videos. Und wenn man alles abschraubt an Metallteilen, dann hat man nur noch das Skelett. Also hier dieses TV. This TV logo was very characteristic of the 60s. And then these funny little cable sheets to protect the hoses. Bonanza bike. Exactly, Bonanza bike. The only thing missing is the popsicle stick engine. The glass and the transparent yellow handles are very characteristic of this period. And of course the true tone paint in the green area. It's kind of the color of an eggshell. Yeah, exactly. What is important to mention about this scooter is that this is an original Spanish TV 175. Only 2300 of these scooters were produced. Last but not least, there is this model that we have already seen in most workshops. It is, of course, an Ammerschläger P4 Dino. The same model as in our SIP workshop. There are two pearls on it, the last Spanish Lambrettes. They are rarely found in a double pack. To be honest, I have to say that everything possible was installed on these vehicles. Even a four-way wiring harness. I've now decided to connect and install everything. When I ride, I also pack my Lambda module. But apart from that, everything possible has to be installed. So all of this was really spontaneous, and we're really thirsty for coffee, so we're going to take a little break. What I find quite interesting is the wall with lots of stickers. The Yesco Motor sticker is actually still here. Thank you very much. But there are also almost all the logos of the Vespa workshops that we still visit. The Reusenlager, which we will visit later. The Welfen. And of course SIP. All of them are there. Thank you, Christian, for welcoming us here so spontaneously. It was very exciting to finally visit your shop and see such interesting projects, like this one. I'm really a bit in love with it. I have to thank you. I was very happy about the spontaneous visit. I hope that you have got a good impression of what I'm working on here. If anyone has found a Lambretta in their shed that they might like to have customized, please feel free to get in touch. Christian, from Salem Speed, implements Lambretta projects neatly. Get in touch with him. And if you like the video and want to see more most sexiest Vespa and Lambretta workshops, then leave a like, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you soon.